out of stock a dollars to my L, hello to the moolah I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, uh -huh. baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. Yeah. You yeah. don't even gotta be physical. As long as that pretty face visible. Yeah. channel if you're new here my name is Ri. hi on this channel we talk about a lot of things mainly travel life and beauty so if you're interested in those things make sure this is important focus this is time to lock in make sure you hit that subscribe welcome to our 2024 reset routine ah, fireworks 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 Blue, all of it yes how is this year done I don't know if you're new here I am not able to fathom the speed that time is moving through like at this point we all just on a fast train but anyway it's the end of 2023 not the end of the world or anything I don't even like the way that sound it's the closing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna honor it we're gonna spend some time looking at our goals checking in at our huge 2023 goals our vision board all of that 2024 we have our word of the year we have our bible verse hallelujah <laughs> and we have our vision board this is my favorite video to film every year i did do one of these last year i'll pop it up and then also i will link it down below for you guys so if you're interested in just some more resetting some more inspiration some more end of a year happy new year vibes watch that as well why not why not you can't tell me why not therefore we do you know <laughs> Yay! So we have our kombucha, we have our island, I think it's called Island Mango from Brew Doctor. Yes ma'am. I have my passion planner handy. Yes, yes, yes. So I think we're good to go. Once again, this is the time. If you if you haven't hit the thumbs up, I'm confused and I'm bewildered because I feel like you're moving a little off from the version of yourself that you want to be. So how about hit it in advance in faith and then we'll go ahead and hop right in. All right, so at the end of every passion planner, fun fact, well, at least the dated ones, or I think the undated ones as well, there's an end of year reflection. So I know I might seem a little pretty early. You probably see in this video like early December, but I prefer to do this like ahead of time before the Christmas hustle and bustle. And also just to be able to share it with you guys so you guys can do your own reset. I prefer to do these things ahead of time. But the end of your reflection, here it is. I was kind of filling it out on the plane as well, but we're gonna fill this out real quick, BRB. as I reflect on this year oh let's just let's just dive into it so I'll be sharing a little bit of how this year went for me the good the bad all of it so and what I really love about passion planner I do have a coupon code did I not tell y'all so I've been using their passion planner system or the passion planner books because I believe this is my third year maybe going on to the program and for me I'm just continuously hooked because the reflection questions are bomb it's literally in the palm of my hand it's so accessible and then I just feel like it's very geared and centered towards where I am right now as a person so can't rave about them enough i will leave a coupon code below if you're interested if you haven't bought your planner for 2024 this is your sign jumps hello this is me reaching out being like get a planner do what you need to do and just thrive highly recommend okay so from one to ten how would i rate this past year how would i rate 2023 y'all i give 2023 a 10 this year has been full of so much blessings like it wasn't perfect it wasn't you know easy but 
I honestly felt blessed like honestly even with the house excuse me my voice is cracking I'm trying to keep it together don't you judge me with everything I mean if I really sit down and reflect I got a new job this year literally building a house moved out living with my family I live by myself now with my dog and Kino and then um I got the new MacBook that I have been wanting from since I started my YouTube journey back in 2020 three years later I'm I am looking at my new MacBook I'm filming on a new camera my old camera is down and out but I had the means and I had the provision to buy a new camera and I just feel very grateful I feel very grateful like if I sit down and look at my life yeah it's not perfect I cry all the time things happen things oh y'all know what the house it was just like hills and valleys but when I could count I always say if I could count the good more than I can count the bad I'm not gonna complain so 2023 was definitely a 10 out of 10 10 10 10 across the board and I got to see Beyonce <gasps> let me write that down I got to see Beyonce in concert Oh my god, I am just, I've been a Vonda Beyonce from since my birth to the Virgo in me. So the opportunity to see Beyonce live, oh my gosh, what a year, what a year. I, I, got, to, I got to see three new countries, three new Caribbean countries, Jamaica, St. Martin, and Anguilla. I got to return to Canada. I got to go back to Canada to see my friends that I haven't seen in years and I miss them so much. Like that trip... Oh, that trip meant so much to me because honestly people know I left my family in Canada like I have people in Canada who I know like it ain't even like a question in my mind or whatever like those are my chosen family so I haven't seen them since COVID so the opportunity to see them and to spend quality time with them and their families oh my gosh y'all 2023 was amazing and I can't ask for a better year so it's, that's just what it is I know I'm a thug I'm a thug what is this water cancel okay get it together it's me trying to hype myself up in my head so I can stop crying what advice would I give myself at the beginning of the year I would say trust the process dream big allow god to work and believe for it you are capable of doing great things your uniqueness is your superpower like dive into that stop trying to be like other people just focus on you my three biggest lessons what are my three biggest lessons that i learned this year less worrying less anxiety just more faith number two i learned that your gifts will make room for you like the opportunities that came to me just off of my skill set off of what i know off of what i do come on now can't ignore it and then i put surround yourself with wonderful people that care for you make you feel love and that you also want to pour love into and i just feel like my relationships are really good this year and i'm, I'm very proud of the people that i get to call friends so Ooh, Jesus, what's going on here? Jesus, I need some rum. Last but not least, name three things that you want to improve on next year. And this is what we're going to take into our vision board creation and just planning out 2024. I want to spend more time with God. And it also tells you like what are the concrete actions behind that. So I got to get back into church. I stopped going to church again. I take a lot. I stop going to church again. Life is life in. So I want to get back into church. I want to go back into like my small groups that I joined in the beginning of the year where it was just like a subset of Christian women. It's like reading books and learning about God. I want to get back into that and just read my Bible. Pick up my Bible. My Bible is be collecting that sometimes because I read my Bible online. I'm just trying to tap back into the physical when it comes to my Bible. And then the second point would have been my finances. I want to pay off my car, clear off my credit card debt, and then reinstate my emergency fund. And then my third thing I want to improve next year is my YouTube channel. Y'all, we are so close to 1 million views lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's us. That's it. And then my last concrete action for my YouTube channel would be I want to create more content that I love and that you guys enjoy. So it might not be something that's like very much popping in the algorithm, but it's something that we cherish on this channel and on this side of the internet. And I'm down to just create more of that. And whoever want to join, want to join. And that's it. And that's all. Killed it. <laughs> 
I have my MacBook in front of me. See ya there. Mm -hmm. And I'll pop up on the screen what I'm looking at as well, just so you guys could see. But this is my 2023 headquarters that I use on Notion just to look at my vision board, look at my word of the year, my Bible verse, all of it in one safe space. And then down below, I also have like my, I like to break it up very strange, but it works for me. I like to break it up as personal goals, brand goals, mind goals, and then my financial goals. And you know, I'm a financial girly. So the financial goals are just always very big. So let's look at how we did this year. Quick recap, our 2023 word of the year was move. Our Bible verse, Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. That was locked in. I didn't even need to look at it. That verse, Liddy. And I feel like it really described the year really perfectly. And then this is our vision board. Oh, she was a beauty to look at. She's a vibe. She's a moment. So let's look into our goals real quick that we created next to it. Move into the home. We're manifesting and we're declaring in faith. Currently, we're in the last stage of y'all. The tiling is done. You gotta keep up with the home updates. Whoa, lose 25 pounds. I'm the same weight as the person who set this goal. Hmm, I just need to eat better, but I didn't do that. But we could dive into that on a separate occasion. I've been putting lose 25 pounds on my vision board for years. Why haven't I done it yet? Fitness and weight loss is something that's very touchy for me because I'm trying to navigate it in a healthy way. So. I didn't accomplish it, but that's okay. Brian Gold's new MacBook Pro. Tick that. Currently using it. And then 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. We have 7.3 subscribers. So we are, I think, 2,700 away. But that's okay. We were close. Over 7,000. I will take that, pack that up, put that in my bag, and curb walk out of here. Mind goals increase my fluency in Portuguese. Boy, when we started this year, we was on our Duolingo Zoom, we was having our streaks, we were being productive girlies, and then life happened. At the midpoint year of 2023, I realized I wasn't going to Brazil, so I kind of like let my, my Portuguese like fall to the cracks, but become a cleaner person. I definitely did that. I have been so much more organized. I spent Sundays cleaning, deep cleaning, organizing my space, especially because I have a studio apartment. I don't have room for clutter. 2023 financial goals. Pay for appliances and structural upgrades with no additional debt. I did that. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. I did it. I actually haven't tapped into any additional debt to pay for appliances and structural upgrades. It's all have been out of my actual pocket and cash, which is nice. Next was pay for the MacBook Pro and then also pay for Final Cut Pro. It's been less intense to just continue to use iMovie and I will look into definitely getting Final Cut Pro next year. But right now I'm very comfortable with where I'm at editing. It's a form of peace. And I feel like if I switch to Final Cut Pro right now, it's gonna be a learning curve that I don't necessarily want to hop into right now in the season of my life. What I did do though, is I bought some more YouTube equipment. So I'll still give myself props. I bought myself a GoPro that I was able to use in in St. Martin and Anguilla and then I bought myself an additional camera so I got myself the Sony ZV-1F that is more vlogger friendly and quick point and shoot access and stuff so I got two new YouTube equipment this year which is nice pay down car loan by 10,000 no mom no palm and then earn $5,000 in my brand $5,000 income in my brand and I'm gonna say no, I did not achieve that. I earned some additional money, but not in my brand. So that's basically from a full scope perspective, how I did in 2023. Y'all ready to see? Let's dive into our 2024 everything. Our 2024 word of the year is thrive. Q angels ascending down from heaven on my back, flocking. Come on now. <laughs> so 2023 was move. I believe 2022 was release. The year before that was expand. So expand, release, move. Now we're going to thrive because 
we're done with the building with the moving and with like the intense part of that process that was an entire journey and now i just feel like it's time to sit to bask to thrive just i don't know y'all just have fun i feel like especially going into 2024 i'll be 29 in september of 2024 god's willing it's gonna be the last year heading into the last year of my beautiful 20s so i'm just gonna enjoy this 28th last 29th version of myself and i really want to focus on enjoying my life thriving having fun doing what i need to do traveling because you know it's a big part of me but i also want to cultivate a very good home life and a very good base um when it comes to what i do every day our bible verse is going to be second corinthians chapter 9 verses 8 and it reads and i'll pop it up here on the screen as well because i got you and god is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work and then in the new international version that reads and god is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work i just truly believe that this is the space in my life where god is just making things very much anew and just tapping into well, I say an abundance that I never thought that I um, would have access to in this lifetime. So that is my first of the year. And similar to this year, we're going to memorize her and memorize her until she's locked in and ain't no switching up. All right, so let's get into some of our goals for 2024. Our personal goals for 2024 buy essential furniture and appliances so obviously i'll be in the home but i want to buy like a couch bed office space desk stuff like that so i'm okay not having it fully like de decorated by the end of 2024 but at the very least i want all of the huge purchases to be done i want to experience a first class flight i think the only time i flew first class was with my mom because she have like american airline platinum basically she's like an og american airline flyer so they upgraded us to like first class with, and she was able to include me and that was really good but i think that flight was maybe only for like two hours or three hours i would really like to experience first class with like the meals and champagne and just like the full experience of it i heard this thing where steve harvey was like save up do that first class experience once and i and then he said it will kind of like start to change your mindset as to like you wanting access to like those levels of abundance one of my biggest goals for 2024 i really want to go to europe i haven't been to europe since i was a child and that is a continent that i am truly planning for and can't wait to visit in 2024 when it comes to our brand goals 20,000 subscribers on youtube because 10,000 we're gonna take that off because i believe in us so 10,000 we already hit that so to really create a goal at the end of the year we want 20,000 truthfully it's gonna be a push but that's exciting and i believe in us and uh, you would imagine 20,000 people <laughs> give me a second another brand goal i want to do on like a smaller scale i want to start working on like definitely final cut pro learning how to use that software buying it and transitioning from imovie because just you know to push myself from a creator standpoint i want to be able to do more with my content keep you guys like you know engaged entertained and just excited for what i'm creating so obviously i have to level up so that's a part of the journey and then i want a website refresh i have my website that i created years ago and i want to see i want to see it in a different space and a different land so that's something i'm willing to invest in in 2024 when it comes to our mind goals increase my fluency in spanish y'all i speak spanish all the time when i'm in like Fort Lauderdale. usually when i visit like heavy spanish-speaking countries or like if i'm really talking to somebody who doesn't know english i can speak spanish but i'm not comfortable using it especially with natives and when people like that i get very nervous because i know my grammar isn't the best and i'm making a lot of mistakes but i want to overcome my kind of like discomfort with spanish because i love the language and i know i have confidence to speak it i can watch a telenovela in like minimal english subtitles and get the full gist so i want to dive into spanish 
um and couldn't hit to still work on my portuguese because i don't want to forget what i've learned next my goal focus on becoming cleaner but i definitely want to become more organized i want everything to have a spot and me to like put things back in their spot so a lot of like the home edit vibes where you talk about containing and everything having a home i really want to make that a priority for 2024 especially with a bigger home i want to be able to organize it and understand what is actually in my house because i feel like most people don't and I want to be better. And last but not least, get closer with the creator, aka G-O-D, the biggest and the baddest. I just want to grow closer to God, especially as a Christian, as a daughter, and all of that. Three things I want to do with my money in 2024. Pay off my car loan, earn $5,000 in my brand. So in Life of VHC, what I've created on the internet, make $5,000, and then... 10k emergency fund rebuild that everybody has a different number of what you would need in an emergency if i have ten thousand dollars stocked away i could leave my job today and have enough time to figure it out and that's what i consider to be an emergency fund i have enough in the bank to pay bills for one to two months maybe three and figure it out and that's what i want for myself for me it's very anxiety heavy when something could happen to you you could lose your job and you don't have the means to like provide for any of the bills and the mortgage and stuff like that so i want to rebuild that in 2024 all right and with no further ado y'all let's dive into my vision board i'm so excited for y'all to see it okay three two one <laughs> the crowd goes wild everybody calm down calm down please no pictures no pictures no pictures y'all isn't she lovely isn't she wonderful i work so hard on her and she's giving earthy tones earth tones cultivating a vibe is she not thrive <laughs> i can't control my excitement 2024 we ready sign us up sign us up this me write my name down because i'm not prepared i have my vision board and she's everything so i'll just walk you guys through it all of my pictures i get from pinterest pinterest has the best aesthetic vibes i don't care what anybody says i get all my pictures from pinterest download them and then upload them to my vision board bundle that i link down below so i have an entire canva template where you can create a vision board that looks just like mine and also see previous versions that i've created for inspo so you of course have santorini greece which is honestly my dream european city that i would like to visit this year and then we have our little first class um inspiration pick with the little champagne looking out at the window just creating a vibe then i have a kind saying that says money flows to me just reminding myself not to stress and then we have a little bath moment with candles just to remind myself to take time for for myself and to emphasize my self-care especially when i can love a good cup of coffee so i wanted to add that just because it's something that speaks to me something that really energizes me but also my mindset when it comes to just enjoying a nice cup of coffee on a beautiful day and then i have my little greenery to remind myself to eat a goddamn vegetable arena please try it so i always put some sort of greenery just to remind myself to be healthier in 2024 and then we have a cute picture of the bible because that's the word for me on the other side we have more personal aspects of my life so 20,000 subscribers speaking it claiming it stamping it and if you don't know my style or my home my design style is very much organic modern so i like a little bit of greenery but i want the home to feel very warm so i saw this picture and it just spoke to my spirit so i added it in to remind myself to focus on those things when it comes to my home and then i added in the most beautiful wardrobe has a little bit of bags has a little, has a little bit of shoes has a little bit of cute pieces capsule wardrobe clink clink i really want to tap into that just redesign my closet and make my closet something that i love and then i have just some gorgeous dainty jewelry because i'm a dainty queen and i want to keep that up with the candles and the last picture i have is of a black girl with clear skin glossy lips living in her moment capturing her vibe so i put that to remind myself to focus on my beauty my skincare my hair care all of the things that really cultivate beauty to me and then last but not least i have a kind quote which says restart reset refocus as many times as you need to because that is something that really speaks to me and what i believe my brand is it's okay to pivot it's okay to restart it's okay to refocus y'all that's my vision board that's my plan for 2024 that sign sealed delivered 
it's yours it's also mine though it's really mine but it's yours and i'm sharing it with you so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching this video be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if there's anything that spoke to you if you are excited for next year if you have any big goals that you want to share down below this is a safe space you'll always know that so drop it down below and i'd love to catch up with you guys i'm big on connecting with y'all i try to answer every single comment drop one down below let's put good vibes into 2024 and i'm just so happy that we're here and we're doing this and we out here thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate you i value yeah you vibe i can see y'all next one bye